Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of the Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and moving right along to our next Jim Beam whiskey review. Well, this one is not a whiskey per se. It's uh, more of a cocktail type mix. This one is whiskey and apple liqueur uh, mixed together. So this one says crisp and refreshing Jim Beam apple. And even it states it on the front, it's an apple liqueur infused with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And if you didn't know before, or from the proclamation of everything that is written on the cover here, uh, it says that this is 35% ABV, alcohol by volume, and to my American uh, compadres, 70 proof. Anything that is under 80 proof or 40% alcohol by volume is not considered whiskey. Uh, in Scotland, and I believe even to an extent in the United States and probably in even other regions and countries throughout the world, it is considered the same thing by law. To be called whiskey, it must be at least minimum 40%. So this one is a liqueur and uh, they recommend on the website that you could try it just like this, or they say to make the perfect cocktail, you should uh, mix this with tonic water, but I don't have any tonic water and I usually do all my reviews straight or neat. So I'm just going to have it just like this. This will be a very quick one. I can already tell you what I imagine this is going to taste like. The smell is quite nice. Am I a big fan of whiskey liqueurs? Uh, yes, I am. I've had quite a bit of them. I've had some from Jack Daniels and uh, some other brands. And um, it's, just, it's just a refreshing drink that you can sit back and enjoy. It's rather light and easy to go down, no fuss. I think you can get hooked on them rather easily, but all in all, truth be told, in the end, I'm still a whiskey man. So I don't prefer them over real whiskey, but well, why do you have to pit them head to head and make them compete with one another? They're both their own thing. green apple candy smell fragrance inside of there with a little bit of oak in the back and I'm thinking that the taste is going to be the same mmm This one's so much like, like a, a Jolly Rancher candy or a green apple candy. Extremely sweet. The finish very sweet as well. You give it that 10 seconds and you wait for it and more green apple comes up. That first uh, drink was rather strong for me because I swallowed so much at one time. I shouldn't have taken such a big gulp, but. Mm. If you love sweet, like so many Americans do, like I do, like I prefer, you're absolutely going to love this. If you enjoy whiskey, if you enjoy whiskey, you're going to hate this because the website proclaimed that 
even though the taste is green apple that you get hints of um oak in the back i absolutely don't taste any of that i don't taste any whiskey to be fair and honest with you it just tastes like drinking hard candy that has been liquefied and you're just consuming that do i like it for what it is yes but for whiskey absolutely not all right that has been it for this quick review i thank you all for watching gentlemen salute to you wherever you may be out in the world make sure that you are always drinking responsibly because a gentleman knows his limits as they say in jack daniels and until next time gentlemen keep it classy